So you've just launched your Google ads account and you're looking to optimize it so you can start getting better results inside Google ads. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the five key ways that you need to optimize it in order to achieve maximum results. Starting off with number one, we need to determine what our goals are for this account. And with these goals decided, we will be able to optimize for it. If we don't know what our goals are, what the overall strategy of what we want to achieve is there is no way to optimize this account. And a lot of people, they skip this. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just just start running Google ads. We'll figure that out later. No, no, no. You need to decide this now, because if you have 20 different goals in Google ads, you have email lead submissions, you have phone calls, you have chatbot, you have page views, you have all these different conversion actions, Google ads is going to take forever to optimize, and you are going to see some very poor results. So it is very important to focus in on what we want to achieve very early on or even before launching our campaign. So for most accounts looking to generate high quality leads, I generally recommend either focusing solely in on phone calls or phone calls and email leads. These generally generate the best types of leads for service based businesses. Now, if you're an e commerce, you could just generally focus on sales and get rid of a lot of the other conversion actions like page views and newsletter signups. This is just going to waste ad spend and you could spend it better elsewhere. One of the great things about focusing on certain conversion actions is that it allows Google's AI to optimize very quickly. As you could imagine, it's a lot easier to focus on one or two conversion actions like figuring out what people convert for phone calls and what people convert for email leads as opposed to figuring out what people convert for 20 any different conversion actions. This is going to take way too long and you really need to focus. Once you've figured out what the actual conversions you want to achieve is and what you want for this overall business, we can then move on to optimization tactic number two, which is focusing on the keywords and the keywords will make or break your account inside Google ads. Really, when it comes to keywords, you have three main factors. One is going through your search terms report and adding negatives. So any keywords and search terms you don't want to appear for you add a negative. So that way your ad will not appear for this. This is a great way to save a ton of ad spend in your account. A lot of people never look through their search term reports and they waste a lot of ad spend. The second thing is looking at the actual keywords that you're bidding on right now. Are they viable? Are they a low enough cost that they're able to generate you leads consistently and bring in profitable leads overall? And the way to tell this is generally by looking at the actual keywords, seeing how many clicks they have. We generally recommend 10 to 15 clicks and then making a decision on the actual cost per lead and the conversion rate. If after 10 clicks, you see that you have a decent cost per lead. So say you're aiming for $50 cost per lead and you have a cost per lead of $45 and your conversion rate is you know 15 to 30 percent somewhere in there that keyword is generally going to be profitable long term if your cost per lead is $150 and you were aiming for 40 chances are you should pause this keyword and move on to another one the third thing you can do with keywords is add new ad groups so this looks like going through your search terms report and figuring out okay is this keyword something that I could also bid on that I didn't think of and then adding that to a new ad group and the reason you want to do this instead of just adding it to an existing ad group is that you can make ad copy much more relevant and this will allow you to get a higher quality score which will bring down costs overall inside your Google ads. Now having more ad groups allows Google ads more options to find lower cost keywords and that will help bring your overall cost down as well. Not to mention you're going to have a higher quality score because of the ad relevance like I just said and more options for Google ads to pick. So there's a lot of benefits of finding new search terms and adding them to their own ad groups as opposed to the existing ad groups. Now the third tactic when it comes to optimization is refining our leads and our audience. Where is our audience coming from? What location, which age, which demographic? What are their interests? What are the actual audiences they're a part of? All of this can greatly affect your Google Ads account. If you know there's a certain area inside your state or country or wherever you're at that converts at a much higher rate, you may just want to pause all of the other locations and just solely focus on that location. It might bring you substantially better results. Another thing is maybe certain audiences convert a lot better than other audiences, and you could put a positive bid model modifier on that so you can get even more leads out of those audiences and tell Google that hey these these audiences are converting very well we want more of them I'm willing to pay more for them and since they're converting at such a low cost per lead I can afford that and this is one of the reasons and this is a ninja tip here I put in as many relevant audiences into observation mode as possible a lot of accounts they'll put two or three I recommend as long as it is somewhat relevant to your account put it into observation mode it doesn't hurt anything Google just allows you to collect data and figure out that hey these clicks 
they came from these audiences anyway, and I'm going to record that data. So then in, you know, month two, three, four, five, six of this account, we can then go back to our audiences and figure out, Hey, this audience segment is converting very, very well. And I want to bid more on that. Or maybe I just want to target that particular audience. And that's a great way of bringing costs down and bringing lead quality up. Now, the fourth optimization tip I have for you is a B testing just about everything in your account. This is ad copy. This is extensions. This is landing page. Anything we can A B test to slightly increase our conversion rate or our click through rate, we should be doing. A lot of people, they'll put one ad inside of an ad group and then they won't even fill out all the headlines. And then when they're getting a click through rate of 0.5% or something crazy low like that, they then wonder why their account isn't running well. And it's clearly because they only have one ad with like four or five headlines. And really how to fix this is just add more ads and add more headlines. I've seen the argument that maybe you should only have two ads in every single ad group. That way Google's AI can optimize a little bit quicker. Uh, I would disagree with that because a lot of people just are not going to take the time to actually optimize these ads. I would say put all three ads in your side, your ad group and allow Google ads to AB test 15 out of 15 headlines, four to four descriptions for each ad. That way you have 45 headlines in total and you have 12 descriptions as well for Google ads to test. The more ability we give Google to test, the more likely it is to find a winning headline and description combo. This will boost up our click through rate, which in turn helps with quality score. And the higher the quality score we have, the lower our cost per click is going to be and the more leads we are going to get and the more account success we are going to get. The same principle goes with extensions, making sure you're AB testing these extensions so you can have a higher click through rate and a lower cost per lead at the end of the day. Now, the fifth optimization tactic I have for you is monitor and adjust your campaigns regularly. Do not over adjust and do not under adjust. What I see a lot of people who are new to Google ads do is they get so excited that they've discovered this new advertising platform. And they're like, we have to go in, we have to adjust every little thing, we have to add tons of new keywords. And then come week three, four, five, their results are just terrible because they've added 150 keywords into one ad group. They've adjusted their bid strategy several times and Google ads is just doing so many things in so many different directions. It doesn't actually have time to collect any data and then actually make valid decisions based off that data. So you have to monitor this on a regular basis. You you also don't want to actually wait like three months to optimize all of this. For most service-based businesses, you can normally just optimize on a weekly basis. I would say start on a Monday and then you can optimize every single Monday after that or Friday, whatever you want to do. But once a week is normally good enough for a lot of service-based businesses. And that should lead to some great results as it's a great middle ground of not optimizing too often and not optimizing not enough. So that's something you really need to focus on. For optimizing your campaigns, we have a free optimization checklist. It walks you through what you should be optimizing every single week, month, and three month basis. And then it also allows you to jot down any of the results inside your account so you can see your overall progress month to month. It's a great checklist. And if you are interested in getting it, the link for that is down below. Now I do have one big favor to ask at the end of this video and it's not to leave a like, it is to ask you guys what you think about the actual paintings behind here. They're brand new. And I don't I don't think they're like paintings, but they're like, uh, like a poster or something. I don't, I don't know. They look cool. I got them. I'm curious what you think. Do you think it adds to the background? Do you think it looks nicer? Um, I think they look great. Also, which one do you like better? Do you like the the boat? Or do you guys like the uh, the hot air balloon? There? I'm curious. I think I might get two more to put up in like the corners up there. Uh, I think they look really cool and I would really like your feedback on this. So if you guys do have any feedback, leave it down below. If you have any comments, questions or concerns about Google ads, leave that down below. I will do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you well. I'm out.